Okay guys, today we're talking about the Mora Knives Bushcraft Black versus the Condor Pterosaur. And these two are very similar knives in price point, in size, thickness, and what they're overall meant for, or their kind of POU, purpose of use, so or philosophy of use. Um, so let's jump into it. So starting off with batoning. Batoning was a pretty even match with these two. Of course, their blade length and thickness is about equal, so they're not really going to have an upper hand on either. Um, they both did a pretty good job. The only thing I will say, and that I remember using the uh, Mora Bushcraft Black for batoning, is that it does seemingly have a lot of hand shock in comparison to something like the Condor Pterosaur or many other traditional knives. Um, it just has a lot of weird hand shock that makes it very unpleasant in the hand when you strike down on the blade. So keeping that in mind, uh, the Condor Pterosaur is probably a little bit better, but as far as physical use goes, they're about the same. Going over to feather sticking, they're actually pretty equal, but the Pterosaur is still just a little bit better. This is one of my favorite knives to do feather sticking and teach feather sticking with, so the Pterosaur takes the cake for feather sticking. Now, the last one is going to be um, cutting cross grain, making notches and such. This one is pretty close once again but the pterosaur is slightly better as well and i think that it's just due to the fact that this blade has a coating and that coating drags a little more than this uncoated uh, 1095 but they both perform very evenly and it's not a super big difference as a whole i think the biggest difference comes in the last two kind of considerations, if you will, and that is fire starting. Fire starting is definitely where the Mora Bushcraft Black wins. Um, it is ground and sharpened, or the spine is ground and sharpened, so not only can you use it to scrape things, but you can also use it to strike the back of a ferro, or you can use the back to strike ferro rods very effectively. The next point is ergonomics, and ergonomics is going to be a personal uh, kind of opinion, but I personally am pretty torn actually with both of their ergonomics. Uh, as I've mentioned in past videos, I do like the fact that both feature synthetic handles, so they're going to stay comfortable in inclement weather, whether that's cold or hot. Um, they're both going to perform well, though I will say that the uh, Bushcraft Black has a slight edge because it is rubberized, so it's going to be better when it's wet as opposed to the Pterosaur's just plastic. But both are pretty good, though I do like the Pterosaur's lightweight feel in hand. It feels very nimble and very lightweight and very maneuverable. So I really am kind of torn between them in ergonomics. Um, I have been in the past a very big fan of the Bushcraft Black's ergonomics, and that's definitely still true. Uh, I think it has very good ergonomics, better than a traditional Mora companion or clipper or robust. So aside from that, that's basically uh, my overall opinion on the handling, the fire starting, and the performance of these two very, very similar woods blades. Uh, there's not too much more to say. Um, so that's basically all I have to say about these two. In the end, I would probably end up taking the Pterosaur just because I like the way that it feels and the blade is a little bit more nimble and a bit better at crafting when it comes down to it. So if I had to choose one for bushcrafting, the Pterosaur would probably be it. I feel like it just does a little bit better job at actually crafting. But they are both very similar, very effective, and priced pretty right. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.